DuvalSports.com, Dream King Films. We heard the old Leaf Knights playmaker Nick Roberts. Hey, Nick, last time we talked, you was committed to Miami. Now you recently decommitted. Talk to us a little bit about that. Uh, the reason why I decommitted, lack of communication. And they was getting other people. That's all. Yes, sir. Um, when you decommitted, how did the uh, Miami Hurricanes administration and staff uh, treat you? Did they uh, turn their back on you? Did they wish you well? How did they treat you? Uh, the fans were wishing me well. They was like, uh, Miami should have never gave this player up. Uh, I be talking to Shaq and all of them, and Shaq said that uh, the coach was asking him what happened and stuff, and I think they're going to come back at me. Yes, sir. Now that you decommitted, uh, are you um, planning on committing anywhere else? Oh, I'm already committed to USF. Oh, you already committed to USF. Talk about that, man. What uh, led you to commit on so quick to USF? Uh, communication. I bond, I bond with all the coaches on the staff, like every coach to, to the GAs, to the head coach, everything. I visited them. My family loved it. Uh, my old lady loved it. It's close to home. I can come in and start right away. Yes, sir. Um, Nick, talk about that communication. You said the lack of communication led you um, to decommit from Miami, but... The amount of communication with South Florida led you to commit. Talk about that communication and how important that is in the process of dealing with the recruits. That's, that's very important. You have to talk to the coaches all the time. Man. If you want to go play there for real, you have to communicate with the coaches. And that's very important. Well, how, how important it is for the coaches to communicate with y'all players to let y'all know that they really are interested in y'all? Uh, it's very important. Um, like with me in South Florida, we talk every day. Me and uh, Conan best coach every day. We don't miss no day. Uh, we ask each other how our day's going. He tell me he just keep me heads up on everything that's going on. And I talk I talk with a uh, couple players that also. Yes, sir. When you took that trip down to Tampa, talk about how did they treat you and your family when y'all went down there? Uh, they treat me like loyalty down there. Like like as soon as I came, they like I was the first one there. I came in the morning. All the coaches came outside, all of them, and then they walked. They took me around the tour, uh, around the campus, the whole campus, through the dorms and all that stuff. Practice facility, game field, all that weight room. Yes, sir. Talk about the family atmosphere down there in South Florida and uh, how important it is uh, for you to make that decision to go there. Uh, you know, it's it's very close to home. It's only like an hour and a half, two hours. It's very close to home, and our family love that, and great education, that's key. Yes, sir. Um, let's move over um, to the fall side of this thing, man. You had a terrific spring. How do you translate those workouts from the spring and the summer into fall ball in the hopes of having another uh, great season? Uh, just making practice harder, grinding every day, getting better at little things that I'm not very good at, but I'm working on them now. Yes, sir. Talk about the rivalry between y'all and the Orange Park Raiders and Clay County, Blue Devils, Fleming Island. Talk about those rivalries and basically being the, the kings of Clay County. Uh, yeah, I like that. Uh, OP, we do not like them boys at all. They've been our rivals since I don't even, I don't know how long. It's just been our rival. Clay is, uh, is, is there, but it's not there. But OP is, we hate them. Yes, sir. Hey, Nick, man, thanks for talking with me and uh, good luck to your future. Thank you. Appreciate you.